Do you use the meeting as also a forum for conflict resolution or are those two separate processes? They're two separate. I think if the conflicts mm -hmm. that might come up might initially start, maybe be brought there. Um, I think in our, our, mm -hmm. our, the way that we solve conflicts, we completely trust the kids. We have long breaks, which we call exploration because we really believe that as much learning happens when they're just in play together. And we mm -hmm. trust that they're gonna kind of on that first level, like work out conflicts that come up just on their own. And often that mm -hmm. happens and the older kids might help the youngers, you know, you know, kind of facilitate and figure out. And then there's times where it's just too much for them to handle. And so they come and they might seek adult support. And then we might just through modeling like good listening and supporting one another just mm -hmm. solve the conflict more or less right in that moment through mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. conversations and really having the kids just take the time to listen to one another but we do have a more formal process that if something that came up that broke one of our safety rules where either mm -hmm. something physical happened or maybe verbally kind of abusive situation we have which is it we call it a justice circle and i think a lot of schools use them mm. and it's a pretty but we found that it, it works really nicely and that you know it's that circle where the first round is just everybody kind of stating the facts of what they saw and then mm. the next round is like the feeling of like how did it feel for each perspective and then like what do people need and then you know, setting a goal of like, when are we going to come back? And now that we have a resolution of how, this, when are we going to come back and check in and see like, how's it going? Mm -hmm. And that, right we, we adopted that a few years ago. We had like a conflict resolution that didn't, wasn't quite as, I would say formal as that. What I really like about this one is that it, mm -hmm. it's, it kind of separates a little bit from the emotion at first where we're just kind of stating the facts. And that kind of helps everybody mm. a little bit of ease of like, oh, okay. And then when we do that round of people really talking about their feelings, it's pretty amazing what kids, what I mm. witnessed kids being able to share and support and the way they support one another. And then owning their perspective of like, ooh, that was not really a good choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I find it to be I, I wish that more people had those skills, you know, and had the time. Like yeah, to, yeah, yeah. You know, like to really just go through that process because it's so valuable. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.